That is the most embarrassing death ever. Oh my god, they were taking a shit when they were squeezed to death by a kraken. <laughs> and it squeezed the shit out of them literally and figuratively. That is so gross. Oh, dude. Aren't you the artist? That's the artist! Bro. Bro. By the way, just to be clear, when I say bro, I'm saying that as a joke. I'm saying that ironically. I don't actually seriously call people bro. But like, my dude, that's a bad death. You were crushed by a beast. So there's no dialogue, right? I was wondering if they would transcribe the sounds like star, shit noises, star. <laughs> hmm, a lot of the ship is open to me from here. Thank you for dying here, it was very convenient. People seem relatively normal on the rest of the ship, so I think this was... I think this is memory number one in the Doom. I think this is when the Kraken first started to attack the ship. And nobody knew yet. I mean, if they knew, I don't think they would be out there taking a shit. <laughs> you look like a cook or something, have I identified you? First mate's steward. Oh yeah, people sleeping. I mean, I can't get their picture if they're totally covered, so... Nothing really to see there. What the heck? Why is there a sword just hanging from the ceiling? These are the Russians, right? Hmm. I don't know, maybe. I remember like three Russians sitting here playing cards at one point, but I don't think this is them actually. I'm not sure. Third mate, Martin Parrot, and their steward, I imagine. Yep, third mate, steward. There's that weird X. Still don't know what that means. So just up now, right? Yeah, I can't go down. Is that a body? They're blurry. Fourth mate steward. Davy James. 
and the fourth mate. I think that's all we're getting from here. So you are dead. Maybe you were the first victim of the Kraken. Okay. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Oof. Is there a surgeon's mate, assistant, whatever? There is James Wallace, surgeon's mate. They're next to the surgeon. They're carrying stuff. Not that that means anything in particular. easy to find was the name mentioned now the doom is done I think The one who died, let me on. Um, get in the boat. Oh, for some reason, when they said let me on, I was thinking they were getting on to the Oprah Den, but no, they're trying to get on to the small boat from the Oprah Den. Let me on, over my dead body, bloody Dane. What's a Dane again? From a certain country. One second. Yeah, Dane is somebody from Denmark. So that probably narrows it down a lot. How's that? No cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Someone else speaking. Thought I'd forget. You killed my brother. That was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Lies? I shouldn't have waited so long. Hmm. An accident with the ropes. Are they talking about the cargo accident at the very beginning? I think... Uh, probably. That really was a long time, though. Cargo was the very beginning, and Doom is near the end. Thing is, I don't think I know who the person is who got smashed by the cargo either. But I just need to find two people with the same last name, probably. And then that would vastly narrow it down. Okay, but first, you are a Dane. 
apparently. So who's from Denmark that I haven't identified yet? Lars Linde, a seaman. I guess it's them. They were... Clubbed. Clubbed. Oh, by who? Right, I don't know yet. I still don't know who the hell you are. Should I say that this person is the surgeon's mate? Yeah, I'm feeling that. I feel like that's right. I think I heard somebody with an English accent. And the surgeon mate the surgeon's mate, James Wallace, is from England. A lot of people that I haven't figured out the fates of. Or even figured out their name. Hmm? Boy! Get in there somewhere! Storm's coming! Finish your business and climb down here! So I think this is the point where I can choose to press further or leave. Finish your business and climb down here. Well, buddy, you are going to be waiting there until we're all dead. Because it's going to take me a while to finish my business. Looking at the crew manifest, I think the brothers must have been Nathan Peters, a peer at 48, a seaman from England, and Samuel Peters, also a seaman from England. Weirdly enough, neither of them is mentioned in the cause of death as being crushed by cargo. The only one that has that seems to be Abraham Akbar. So definitely something I need to go back to, but we'll get there in due time. Yeah, I guess now we just start back at the beginning, right? Because now we can actually see things in sequential order. It's going to make things a lot easier, and of course we've already identified a lot of people, and we know a lot more about what's going on, so we have more context to everything. We can identify more people who did the killing, etc., etc. Is that shell still flashing out there? It sure is. So, lose cargo. Start with that one. Happened at port. This unknown soul was crushed by falling cargo. Wait. But... Wait, I don't understand. You're not Akbar. If you're unknown. So then... Why didn't I see you in the list? Maybe I just missed you? I don't know. But this is one of the Peters. I don't think I have any way of knowing which one just yet. Let's bookmark their memories. Location of corpse. Ah, right. Yeah, they were the one crushed all the way at the bottom. So let's go there. Go back into the memory.
Mm, this is the one that was clubbed because they thought that they killed their brother. So you are quite close to the whole thing. What if this is their brother? Probably, right? They'd probably be next to each other. I still don't know which one's which, though. Ah, yeah, that's the guard that was later clubbed and then later killed, executed, guarding the door where the uh, the chest is. So the chest definitely was on here since day one. And I think it was cursed or something. Later died of illness, later died of illness. Hmm. I feel like I'm close to figuring out who those which of the two brothers is which, but I just don't know. The other memory as part of loose cargo is the person who died in this barrel during that same cargo accident. I think I'm going to learn anything different from this one. This was just a split second later. Let's look at the first person that died during the bitter cold thing. We've already identified who they are, but I'm interested in looking at the scene. Have I identified you? Oh, I have. Did I figure out whether their name tag was related to their name? I mean, apparently I've already figured out who they are. So I don't know if it matters, but is it confirmed? They are confirmed. So I did identify them correctly. Renfred, Rajub, it says 51. Um, is that actually what 51 is on the crew manifest? Do those relate? I don't remember. 51 is Renfred Rajub. Okay, yeah, so those numbers do refer to who it is on the manifest. Of course, most people have the blankets over their faces, so that's of little use. This is the person that I had to make an educated guess at who they were, and they're not confirmed. Because for some reason it just says X on theirs. There says 54. I wonder... I wonder if this empty one here is perhaps this person's. But I already identified this person too, although they're not confirmed. But if we run with that assumption... 53 is 53 Akbar. No. 53 is William Wasim. I identified you as William Wasim. Ooh. I might have identified them incorrectly. Right? Because they're probably sitting... Let me see if I can figure out what this X means. I don't know. I couldn't find anything about it. 
I searched for like ship hammock X. There was a bunch of nothing, and then there's one post that was a link to a Steam forum post, I think, saying like, what's up with the X in Return of the Oprah Din? I didn't read it, of course. That'd be a spoiler. I remember somebody had their arms sticking out with a tattoo. I don't know if it was in this memory or perhaps the next one. This is the three Russians. Again, I don't know who is who, though, so... Man, I wish I could see their faces. Is there anything identifiable about their, like, feet, you know? Or perhaps I can see this one's shirt very slightly. Hell, it looks kind of striped. Are you the dude? Could that be the striped dude? Who's 39? Jie Zheng, a topman from China. Ah. Mm. I don't know this. It's hard to tell, but this person doesn't look Chinese to me. So yeah, distinctive footwear. Anybody got fancy shoes? Oh, you're the person with your arm out. Yeah, you're the one with that tattoo. So number 37. Um. Oh, I just realized how I can use this to figure out who they are. The person with the distinctive tattoo on their right arm. Is number 37 and number 37 is... Timothy But is that an M? Butement from Scotland. They were torn apart by a beast. And the fact that they're in that list means that they have been identified. When did I identify this person with the tattoos? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> anyway, alright. Well, this doesn't matter anymore. This was part two of Bitter Cold, the other person who died from illness. Renford Rajub. In the dialogue, they say that uh, they must have got it from the Lascar house. Yeah, must have got it, picked it up at the Lascar house. What's the Lascar house? Anyway, we've identified the doctor, we've identified them. Who are you? You're the third mate. I don't know who you are. Is the chest here? Isn't this a different place than we saw it previously? What is this? Yeah, we saw this guard in front of the room that had the chest. This one has this guard and Ipeng Sia. Chiotan and Ipeng Sia. And there's just like a curtain in front of whatever it is. Actually, hold on. Can I see back there if I go back here? It's this one. I <laughs> can't see shit though. Nothing of use, just the curtain. Damn, I thought that'd be something. Some awesome clue. Do you think the chest is there and they moved it? There's something else there. What would it be? I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. I have a lot of people left to identify, and I don't feel like I'm making much progress going through the memories again so far. 
Anyway, for now, I think I'll end this episode here. I gotta go eat and do some stuff and then go to sleep. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna do part three of the bitter cold and just keep going on through sequentially through all the events and try to find new clues.